Alright, so we're doing this a little unconventional today. I'm going to just pop these babies up. You're going to pick. And then we're just going to do it like that, you know. Because I'm just trying to like get in, get out, get in, get out, get in, get out. And get these other readings done. So we have three piles. I asked my guys, I'm like, what does the next reading need to be? I've been feeling a who's your hidden enemy reading. But for whatever reason, they want to talk about love. New love. Or like what's next in love in general. Like the journey. So... I don't know. Possibly, I feel like this is going to, I don't know, I just heard six months. So something about these messages might be over the span of six months, but we'll see. Okay, so these are the decks. <laughs> we have pile one is going to be the witch tarot. Pile two is going to be the golden tarot. And then pile three is going to be the new era elements tarot. So let me just hold them up for you guys. Tab into your intuition, baby. What's next in love for you? Who's coming towards you in love? What you need to know? I don't know. What sh We're just going to see what comes out. So yeah, pick your pile intuitively and I'll see you guys. Alright, pile one. We're just going to like jump right in. Like anytime my guides, ancestors, my people, you know what I'm saying? Anytime they just tell me a reading to do and I just go with the flow instead of resisting, it usually just comes down easily. So for pile one, I'm going to just tell you what's coming out. I just heard healing family issues, okay? And I know we're talking about love. And I know, see, that's the thing about these readings. You know, people keep it real. Some of these messages may be triggering for some. But you hear, right? So let's just see what's going on here. So take it if it resonates, leave it if it doesn't. When I think of healing family issues, especially if you're a Leo or a water sign, okay? Some of you guys can have a water sign in your Mars or like a Neptune placement in your Mars, Pisces in your Mars, right? Um, possibly even Cancer, Scorpio, water sign. Um, it's almost like family issues from the past, things that happened possibly with how your father treated your mother, Things that you saw your mother do in other relationships. Something about an uncle is here. Oh, okay. This isn't going to be for everybody, but I did hear something about sexual assault. Y'all know I don't like to get too much into it because that could be triggering even for me with an uncle figure. I don't know what it is. It doesn't have to be that deep, but there's something about healing family issues so that you can move forward in connections in a healthy manner. Because I'm not going to lie, Pile One, for some of you guys, there's an energy of being on this constant loop, almost like a whirlpool. It's like this constant loop of getting into connections, feeling like you're ready for connections. Um, now, I'm not going to lie. Some of these connections might be toxic. They might not even be for you. They might just be karmic, here to learn a lesson, then move forward. Okay, let me take my shoes off, get comfortable in this bitch, okay? But this is the thing. I keep hearing something about self-sabotage. It's like as soon as y'all get to a certain point of intimacy, there's a, a trait that comes out. I don't know if this is codependency. I don't know if this is an insecurity. I don't know if this is something around abandonment issues. You see how we're going around full circle? Like, you know what I'm saying? That's what's coming out. So it's almost like what you guys are going to be recognizing possibly in these next six months, six months or even these next five months is how... You have either gotten in your own way to how certain family issues or like childhood issues stemming from family have kind of played a part in um, failed relationships or maybe relationships going sour. But not even just relationships going sour, but just who you choose as a partner. It's like, not gonna lie, I'm hearing like we could do better. But like, why are we continuing to put ourselves in these situations with these people? That's for somebody. Someone's name could start with a B. Someone's name could also be Bethany, first, middle, initial. It doesn't matter. There's a lot of like, oh my gosh, this is what's making me think. I don't think that everybody is going through a tough cycle in love right now. But um, this is almost making me think that some of you guys right now could currently be learning a hard lesson in love. Or maybe there's a lot of revelation around love. It's a lot of I'm getting two O's, two eyeballs open, okay? It's like open. We're like, 
we're looking okay we're like okay what do i need to do in order to have a healthy partner some of you guys might not even be focused on love primarily you might have just came here but it's like one minute i want to say there's an energy of like i just went through this tough breakup i'm tired of going through these cycles what is it that i could do to change myself what is it that's going wrong what needs to happen here like what am i not seeing okay there's a lot of like eyes open aha epiphany ace of swords type of energy clarity okay a lot of it okay i don't want to say it like this because i'm not blaming anyone like don't blame yourself but I'm, I'm picking up on it's deeper than just picking the wrong partner or like connecting with the wrong partner or a right person wrong time it's a lot of like what happened in childhood because there is something here that i'm picking up on that's a little bit toxic we all have our things and it's like there's something in you that triggers it's like an i don't know if it's abandonment or if it's something around it's some type of trauma i'm not gonna lie and it's like sometimes this can scare your partner away or if like someone shows you intimacy or kindness there could even be a connection to chaos because that's what you're used to it's like i don't know what it is was that 444 oh we're about to get hit a 444 it's like a lot of you guys are starting to get a revelation i'm sorry i'm looking at the time a revelation on love so let me see something real quick i keep getting a bunch of eyes like but an eye like there's eyes but then there's the eye the middle <laughs> the third eye so a lot of awakening, seeing things for what they are. Ten of Pentacles. That's so crazy. When I think of the Ten of Pentacles, I also think of foundation, stability, your legacy, your destiny. Um, I'm getting a treasure chest. This has something to do. It's like your family life plays a huge part in your relationship. So what are you trying to tell me, Spirit? The King of Cups. I'm telling you, water sign energy. Three of Pentacles. okay now what's the relationship between you and your father and if it's not a father it's a masculine i don't know there's a need to collaborate a little bit more with the masculine the masculine instead of playing the, the blame game oh my gosh okay hold up really quick there's someone's name coming through because i'm starting to like slur and, and stutter someone's name could be lynn or start with an l or an s maybe even an h i'm also getting the word shy but it's something that's not being seen here. For some of you guys, I'm not going to lie. I don't want to say that you're the problem. I don't want to say that. But there's something here. Sometimes we got to be real with ourselves. What is it that we also need to work on? We love to point the finger at this person. And I'm not saying that they weren't an asshole. So you thought you were going to come to this reading and it was just going to be all peaches and cream. But you know, pee keep it real, honey. I'm not going to say that they weren't assholes, that they possibly wasn't meant for you. But these past relationships... There is something here that's coming from your end. So I don't know what this is. There's a need to collaborate a little bit more with the masculine. I don't know if you guys put yourself on a pedestal and you kind of look at them like, uh, or like if there's an energy of like putting yourself down here and putting them up on a pedestal, there needs to be like an, an like equal. We're equals. You know what I'm saying? For some of you guys, there's a history of abusive relationships. This is all channel because, honey, like my mind is trying to focus on these cards, but it keeps like, oh no, say this, say this. It's like, let me see real quick. Okay, they said bottom two. We have the eight of cups. There's like resentment and we have the ace of wands. Okay, let me take this off real quick. Um, sorry if I was talking a lot. I have my earphones on, so you know, boom. But um, collaborating. I'm not gonna lie, I don't know what it is, but like, I'm hearing the words victimization and not looking at the part that you play. And if you have been looking at the part that you play and you're like, that doesn't apply to me because I have been doing that, and you know that for sure, what I'm seeing is that that's what's gonna bring you into this healthy love, this new love situation, possibly with a water sign or even an earth sign. So maybe those are the past lessons that you already had to go through and that's why it's being highlighted right now. It's like, okay, don't lose sight of that and why you went through that and the revelations that we have with that, this is what we're now walking into. Cause there's success here with the connection, but it's like you have to collaborate with the masculine. And if it's not the masculine, it could be with the feminine. However it resonates for you, there has to be like a, the yin yang and everything has to be like in one motion. It's not like, oh, you're above me or below me and vice versa, or we just blame it over here. It has to be a sense of balance. Um, there could also be an energy of like, I don't know who 
works too much. I don't know if you guys date people that work a lot or if you guys put work before your partners. I don't know, but there needs to be a balance. Okay, so let me see. Also in your connections, I don't know why this is coming through, but start speaking up about what it is that you need. There needs to be more communication. Some of you guys might have had a hard time communicating with your partner. Like there was a lot of emotions, um, stability, money was there, but it's like, are we communicating? Do Are we really happy? Like what's going on? Okay, power one, past energy and love. One more card, past energy and love. Girl, the five of swords, Aquarius energy. If y'all were dealing with an earth sign, I don't know if you guys commonly date earth signs. If you're an earth sign, we also have Aquarius energy. Um, and we have the everything is fine. Okay, so we got the five of swords, the ten of swords, the king of pentacles. One minute I want to say y'all have a history of dating either abusive. I don't know if they're emotionally abusive, physically abusive, but there's an energy of like being left out, abandonment. There's a lot of abandonment, stubbornness. I don't know if something happened to you that kind of made you a little bit tough in the center. You know what I'm saying? I don't know, Paul. One, there's something that needs to be looked at about family and also about yourself and how you deal with people. Some of you guys are giving me real big ghoster vibes. Um having a hard time with intimacy, wanting to connect with people, but then also pushing them away when they show you some form of intimacy. Putting work, maybe you're more focused on work. I don't know, okay? Maybe that's where the focus needs to be. I don't know, we're about to see. But with this, everything is fine. There's a lot of like, start speaking up about what it is that has caused you pain instead of like pushing it back. Why that's coming up, I don't know, but it plays a part in how you're gonna be connecting with your new partners because I see success coming in with relationships, but it's like, we gotta stop acting like that didn't happen. We gotta stop acting like we didn't do wrong. We gotta stop acting like that didn't hurt us. You get what I'm saying? We gotta stop acting like it's everybody else but us, okay? Just saying, it's coming through here, okay? With this King of Pentacles, there's an earth sign, so let me see. What's next in love for my power one? What's next in love for my power one? The Ten of Cups, okay. What's next in love? Yeah, there's definitely an earth sign here or a water sign. Let me see. We have the Ten of Cups, the Knight of Pentacles, and the Page of Wands. What's going on here? What's next in love for my power one? Okay. Ace of Wands. I'm going to read this to you multiple ways. The magician. Okay, Gemini, Virgo, energy. Let me just tell you the signs. Doesn't have to be. We have Pisces, Capricorn, Aries, Gemini, Leo, Aquarius. But it doesn't have to be, okay? This is what I see. I see once you get past that hump and start recognizing what needs to be it's like being honest once you're honest with yourself where you're playing a part where others are playing a part i see a real good like change in love i'm not gonna lie there's an energy of like wanting love but then wanting to kind of be alone some of you guys might be in that process of just wanting to be in your own energy learning yourself like when you learn yourself and really like tap into what's bothering you what needs healed and really focus on yourself i feel like that's what's going to push you into this energy to really attracting a partner that's also healthy and ready for you and everything that you want because this ten of cups is here in this knight of pentacles so there's someone coming in let me see who this somebody is let's see <laughs> who is this person coming in who is this oh shucks okay <laughs> For those, let me see, a new person. I'm picking up on a past person for some of you guys. Somebody that you're kind of defensive with right now. You guys might have had a family. It's so crazy. I'm getting two to three people, right? There's somebody that you guys had a family dynamic with or maybe someone that there was a lot of idea idealism around. Um, maybe even, I don't want to say fantasy, but there was a lot of like dating off of the potential instead of off of realistically what was going on. This also could have been like the father of your child, the mother of your child, what have you, right? They also could have been a Sagittarius. I see somebody that has been distant from you trying to come back. They're going to communicate with you. I see somebody letting you know, like, it's like you and somebody disconnected. And since you've been gone, honey, y'all might have watched that video and chose pile two, maybe even pile one. But I'm picking up on more pile two. It's like there's a lot of somebody coming into you to kind of like talk. This is the only thing about this. They could be a Scorpio. We got the death card here. This is somebody that y'all ended something with. Stick with me because I got a lot of messages coming down. Okay. I see somebody wanting to come back, right? That's the one storyline right there. 
But this is the thing. There is somebody here for somebody. It's like this person, I feel like y'all had a connection. This is someone that, someone that you connected with at some point in time. I feel like they've abandoned you before or there's an energy of in and out. There's a ghosting energy. I don't know if that's you or if that's them, but this is what I'm talking about when we were talking about in the beginning, being attracted to these same type of people. Do you find yourself in these connections where people start ghosting? Do you start ghosting? There's a ghosting type of energy. There's a flighty energy. There's a we can only flirt but not really take it to the next level energy. But it's crazy because we got the Ten of Cups here, but it's like next to the Page of Wands. Not the King of Wands. Well, we don't want the King. I mean, the, well, the King of Wands is not bad, but you get what I'm saying? It's not giving King, it's giving Page. But we have the Ten of Cups. That idealism off of what? I hate to be harsh, y'all, okay? Y'all could have disconnected from someone um, in August or there's something about Leo season or just even finding the strength. I'm not going to lie for you guys. You know what I know what I see? In the future, once there's like a maturity out of whatever this transition is, and we're going to tap into that because that's the future, okay? I see a water sign or possibly an earth sign coming to you. But as of right now, what I see is next in love. There's a lesson. If you have not learned that lesson that kind of is rooted in loving yourself or like, it's like there's an attraction to people that abandon you or like maybe you, it's like a constant abandonment. I don't know what this is. But it's like, I don't like it. With the Seven of Wands, I'm picking up on someone setting their boundaries. It's almost like your next, I don't know, what's next in love is almost like there's going to be a test for you. I see somebody coming back wanting to communicate. But what Spirit is telling me is, have they really changed? Is this really what you want? Are you about to put yourself back into the cycle? Because I see you guys being tested by spirit so that spirit can really see if you learned your lesson and if you're really ready for something more in love. It's like you're going to keep being tested in these same ways. For some of you guys, there's something real cyclic about love here. So until you learn these lessons, it's like you're going to keep going through the, that same transition period. I don't know what that's about, but it's like spirit really wants you with the seven of wands to set boundaries. No one something is like, it's like there's no depth. I see connections coming in, but there's not a lot of depth. I know you guys, we kind of got a little bit. I'm keeping it honest though. I don't see depth. There's somebody that comes in, in and out. I feel like some of you guys might have felt, it's like this person has put you in a very anxious period. But it's like, aren't you tired of that? Aren't you tired of being ghosted? Aren't we tired of these little flings? I mean, if you want a fling, then fling it up. But it's like, aren't you, don't you want something new? And I see that here for you with the strength card, but it's like, let me see what your advice is. Ooh, what's the advice for power one? What is it that you want them to know? So we had the everything is fine card earlier, which is the ten of swords, and now we got the ten of swords. You got to end whatever that is. It's like a continuous cycle with this person. Who is this person? For those that that's going to resonate with. Wow, they could be an earth sign. And if they're not an earth sign, the six of pentacles, that in and out, that breadcrumbing energy, not, they only give you but so much. This is the thing. When I get this six of pentacles right now, I'm not getting it in a good way. There's a lot of like gift of the gab. Oh, I'm going to give you this. I'm going to do this. But it's like they never really hold up their part of the offer. So don't we want to stop messing with this person? You know what I'm saying? I don't know, y'all. I don't know. So if they can learn these lessons. And we got the six of wands here. They can learn these lessons. What's next for them in love after learning these lessons? There's a lesson that you guys are going to definitely um, be learning here with somebody. Oh, we got the three cups in reverse. The eight of wands. Oh, can I be honest with you guys? And we got the page of cups. I see new love. But there's a lesson here. So there could be a karmic coming in or there's like a constant going back and forth with this person. I don't know if this person put you in third party situations. It's like this constant flighty out, flighty in, I take you back. You take me back. I did you wrong. You did me wrong. But it's like it's not healthy. We got to break the cycle until you, if you don't break the cycle. Okay, let me not say it like that. I don't want to be rough. But it's like sometimes we get tested and it's okay if you're not ready, you're just not ready. But it's like until this lesson is learned and just let it happen naturally. I don't see a real meaningful connection coming in. Now for others, if none of that resonates, right? Like I said, there's an energy of someone coming back to you. Okay? And don't force the message on me if it's not for you. I do see where there's going to be a good outcome. I mean, this is for everybody with this Ten of Cups and this Knight of Pentacles. It's just taking a while because it's like in the meantime, between time, Spirit is trying to make sure that you're doing the work, right? Spirit doesn't want to give you somebody 
and then you end up, you know, with toxic behaviors, hurting that person, and then it's like a constant cycle. You know how it be. You know how people hurt you. Do you want to hurt somebody like that? Like, it's like a, it's a constant thing. We do it every day. But with this page of wands, I see communication coming in. I'm not going to lie. For somebody, there's somebody that wants to talk to you that's been in no contact because this is giving me like somebody that you disconnected from. I see them coming in, but the thing about it is the Ace of Wands is here, so that could be a new start. But the Ace of Wands with the Page of Wands, I don't know if it's really like, especially if you've been on and on with this person, if you're expecting like that King energy, we still don't have it. You get what I'm saying? If you don't, then I don't know. <laughs> if you don't know, now you know. Or I don't know, okay? Because like, I don't know. I don't know how to say this. I know. I didn't want to come in like this, you guys, but like. <sighs> Let me see. Some of you guys might be taking a break from love um, to kind of get yourself together. But let's see. What else is coming to us? Power one in love. Let's see. At first, I thought I was being evil. Look at just what. Look at this. I'm about to just come close. The sun and deceit. Do you see what I'm talking about? I told you I'm not just being evil. It's right here. This is the thing. I see an illumination process. Whatever you have not been seeing, I see the sun coming in, shining the light to show you where you have been deceived or maybe where you have been deceiving others. You know what I'm saying? It's like there's some type of deception, there's some type of clarity that you are going to get on love in regards to your patterns, other people's patterns, and that's when the change is gonna come. But this right here, and that's also giving me, I don't know who's coming back, but just be careful. There's somebody here that y'all was in no contact with. I see them coming back and wanting a new start, but with that deceit card, I don't know, you guys. They could be a Leo. There's a lot of putting on and being like, oh, like, when I think of the sun, I think of happiness, brightness, sometimes, you know what I'm saying? But with that deceit card, pride, ego, maybe you guys are going through an ego death. I don't know. I don't know. I'm like, I keep wanting to, like, elaborate, but my spirit guys are like, no, that's the message. I'm like, okay. <laughs> okay, that's the message then, but let me see. Hmm. Sorry, but let's see. The message is for power one. What's next in love? Yeah, this is like a new journey for you guys. We have asking for angelic support. My angels respond when I am open and authentic about how I feel. It's like, you see what I'm saying? It's almost like you're being pushed to move into this healing process to kind of heal whatever that is that's causing conflict and love. I don't know what that's about. We also have invoking self, invoking self-realization. Self-awareness right here. Each breath confirms how awake I already am. Then we got the butterfly. Let me check my lips good anyway this is beautiful but I feel like there was someone here that didn't want to hear this and maybe you need to pick another pile I'm not sure but like I just feel like there's a real big emphasis on healing and it's so crazy because this is a whole separate deck and this card was in it and it's the healing light what I see next for you guys, do I see people coming in? It's, it's like one strong energy. Possibly, okay, I think one to three. But it's like these connections, it's not giving me soul matey. And I don't think it's nothing that you need to necessarily avoid because it's some type of lesson that has to be learned here. And it seems like, I don't know if maybe like your relationships, it's like, I don't know, you guys could be extroverts, but I'm getting more of an introverted vibe. It's like spirit has to teach you these lessons through love and relationships these could even be friendships but it's like what i'm seeing for you guys is a lesson being learned in love so that you guys can come back to self and really reevaluate where have you been deceiving yourself and like where can you make changes so that you can actually call in something healthy i'm sorry which that's not a bad thing, but like I said, I could just feel somebody's energy. They weren't wanting to hear that. I could tell this is a very probably like triggering pile. There's a lot of wanting to work on self, and maybe some of you guys are already in that energy. But with this five of pentacles, I see you guys learning how to walk away from people that don't serve you and telling yourself, like, I actually deserve better. Period, point blank. Last messages for power one. 
the emperor was next for yeah i see you guys really like tapping into your power being like this is what it is and this is what it ain't you're learning a lesson there's a lesson that's going to be learned here in the full card in reverse aries energy we also have temperance these are all major arcana okay let me be honest how do i say this spirit we have the four of pentacles the seven of pentacles if you guys have been i don't know who this is for but this is only going to be for some people if you guys have been jumping into different connections he can't tell you what to do but with that full card being in reverse there's a, like a an awareness that needs to be had about something about how you're moving or maneuvering in love there's a need for patience with the full card being in reverse the temperance card upright the emperor and the four of pentacles is giving me real big patient energy i'm not gonna tolerate anything less i'm not tolerating bullshit i recognize who i am self-love power i'm conserving my energy because not all these i don't want to call them peasants but not everybody deserves my energy i'm only going to give my energy to those that deserve it like it's almost like you're going to have this self-realization about how precious and sacred you are and that's when the love is going to come in it's almost like that law of attraction i feel like i don't know y'all i'm not gonna lie i really feel like if this hasn't happened already there's going to be a real big emphasis on learning lessons to further push you i don't want to say into isolation but it's almost like to a point where you're going to be only solely focusing on yourself okay Whew. okay let's see if there's any love messages other <laughs> oh yeah this is for you that was like the only card flipped up let's see oh shucks what's going on here Girl, get it together, P. <laughs> My hands aren't working. Okay. <laughs> All right. For my pile one, anything else? Something to lighten the load. Okay. Let's see. Wow. Let me read all these to you. We have balance. Love is not always about agreeing just for the sake of it. A great relationship is one that both supports and challenges. I feel like we talked about that balance, that equality, not putting one person over the other. There's like, there's lessons that need to be learned here. I don't know what this is about. I'm not gonna like dig into y'all anymore, but you know what I'm saying? Like it's coming through, but anyway. We have the past is now behind you. Release it and embrace new possibilities. A new path is now available to you. Follow it with faith. It's like, there's new energy coming in there's a new start but we have to have that self-realization this might be the time to just really focus on self and there's nothing wrong with that we also have secret admirer okay someone has deeper feelings for you than they are letting on i feel like for some of you guys where it's not that toxic and deep and you kind of got past there is an energy of someone watching you and looking at you and i feel like we already kind of knew that i feel like you guys definitely have options but are they going to be fulfilling i don't know but i'm also seeing too a past person there's someone no contact this could be a new person but i'm almost picking up on this is representing the no contact person i don't know who that's for there's like someone that's been like in a distance and i don't know if they're like they're not being honest about how they truly feel i don't know what that's about but anyway we also have beware of what you are projecting for the qualities you admire in one another are qualities you both possess equally so the qualities you don't like are also your own reflection it's all in the cards like i promise i'm not just being a bitch like it's all right here it's like when you recognize like some of the things it's like there's just a need to really look in the mirror that's all i'm gonna say because I don't, I don't know how else to say it because i know i can be very like blunt and that's that's just me like <laughs> but it might not be the time for that right now so yes pile one that was your spread <laughs> please let me know how it resonates and we're gonna move on to pile two all right pile two let me see I have to rub myself down with this cell or not I had to give it to power one. I don't know what the fuck is going on. <sighs> Sorry, power one. I think that's the first time I kind of felt a little bit bad about keeping it G. But, hey, you know, it'd be the truth though. You know, we're not all perfect. But anyway, power two, I do feel like there's a little bit of a different energy. Okay, so my cards just fell everywhere. Give me one second. Mmm. Okay. Y'all might actually need to watch Power One too. Cause some of the cards that kind of flipped over, there might be a message in Power One. I'm also hearing this might be the progression of Power One. Like you guys might have went through that 
part of pile one already or like what pile one is currently going through and now this is like where we start to reap the reward okay so let's see you guys are very deserving of something especially if you guys have been putting the work in if you know you haven't been putting the work in honey like be honest with ourselves you ain't got to tell me you ain't got to tell Pete. but there's an energy of once you do do that self-work that inner healing getting to know yourself it's like it's almost like it's gonna fall in your lap like love is just gonna fall in your lap i'm sorry am i being a little loud my headphones are on <laughs> but let's see how to those that chose the golden tarot i'm seeing a lot of illumination in love i feel like y'all this ain't y'all first rodeo you know what i'm saying like y'all been through stuff and at this point you're just like i don't know i feel like you guys are in a relaxed energy let me see before i start talking how oh i almost called y'all power one how two we have inspiring others how two yeah i feel like with that inspiring others i feel like there's something about your story that's very inspirational not just to others but also to yourself like you have been through some stuff you know at this point you're like i'm deserving of some true love some good healthy love honey and i don't blame you so let's see pile two because you did that inner work that i spoke about in pile one and if you didn't this is what you could have if you do it so pile two those that chose the golden tarot we have dispelling sadness past energy There's a lot of oranges coming to me. <laughs> wow, inspiring others fell out again. Okay, so we have, I help others feel empowered by acknowledging their gifts. So there's an energy. Yeah, you guys just bring a lot to the table. I feel like you guys are very transformative. Like you guys are a very transformative partner. Some of you guys can have a lot of Scorpio placements. Um, oh, we do have forgiveness here girl it's a lot coming down hold on <laughs> and we also have dispelling sadness i will feel better once i get the rest i need okay yeah i feel like there's an i'm sorry my bad but anyway i feel like there's an energy here i keep getting this energy of someone just being like i'm tired of being the the strong one like when is someone gonna be strong for me or like when is it gonna be my time to really have a connection that's worthwhile i've been doing the work I've been doing what it is that I need to do. When is it coming? You know, when is my big break? You know what I'm saying? In love. You guys have been a catalyst for a lot of people. I don't know what that's about, but it's like, I don't know. Once people mess with you, it's like life just changes. I don't know. Like, so there's an energy here, separate messages, right? There's an energy here of you guys needing to put yourself first. Um, that's great and all being the catalyst for everybody else but it's like you know it's it's okay to focus on you for change you know it's okay like don't feel bad about wanting something for you you know what i'm saying i feel like you guys put a lot of people before you and that might be the lesson here instead of putting everybody else before you your partners putting them on pedestals it's nothing wrong with being a giver 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 there's a lot of water energy coming through here a lot of feminine energy it's not nothing wrong with that but it's like like there's a lot of nurturing when i say giving it not in a masculine way but more in like a nurturing way i want to take care of you i want to coddle you i don't know i feel like when it comes to love you guys can really like put on you know what i'm saying like y'all can really like go hard for your partner and it's like it's time for someone to go hard for you and like don't feel bad about that sometimes people feel bad about you know wanting good things for themselves and it's like no it's, it's time like p is telling you it's time for you to have something good for a change okay i don't know who needed to hear that but it's coming out we also have my losses prove how deeply i loved exactly i feel like y'all have been through come on now the mud and the dirt come on now okay that's for some like y'all hurt um learn some hard lessons in love and i just feel like oh we haven't <laughs> pulled no cards but i just feel like there's a major reward coming in i just feel like there's somebody here that's getting a little bit restless because they're like so what's happening this is what i'm gonna tell you i literally just got <laughs> a visual of like y'all ever see like them what are those things called the conveyor belts i saw a conveyor belt but i also saw like a man and they were like putting arms on him i feel like your spirit guides your angels and your ancestors i know that's weird whether you're masculine feminine like men women i don't care girl but there's an energy of them patience honey patience i'm telling you because they're putting together it's like a builder man 
or a build a partner, whatever you resonate with. I feel like they're trying to create the perfect person. And for some of you guys, it's persons. So you have some like, you know what I'm saying? You got some options. You got some variety so you can really pick. They're putting them together for you. And it's just like, just hold on. We got you. We're putting them together, but we also need to make sure that you're together. So make sure that you're together so you can prepare for these build a people. Because these build a people are going to be like, the shit. I know that sounds so weird how I said it, but like, that's how it's coming in and that's just how P's gonna say it, but I don't know. I feel like you guys are definitely gonna be rewarded for all the work that she's been putting in, but let's see. Hold up, I gotta check my lips, girl. Feeling cakey. What the fuck is that? I don't know, she's feeling weird. I'm not making no edits either, so. Mm-hmm. I just, I'm not feeling it today. I'm like real like unorthodox today, more than usual. I'm just like, uh, the yeah, no, whatever. Not really feeling like doing anything like to the T, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but, uh, ooh, okay. Pile two. Love messages for pile two. Somebody could sing here. Okay, they say keep. One more. There could be three different options coming towards you guys. Mm. We have imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolving into light, creating room for new opportunities and possibilities for your life. I'm telling you guys, like, if you guys have been getting a little bit pessimistic, optimism is kind of like going down the drain, don't. Because it's almost like when you guys are in that good energy, you're manifesting like a new life for yourself. Some of you guys might not even be focused on love. This is kind of similar to power one, but not really. It's a lot more gentle. Um, but some of you guys might not even be focused on love. Like, there's the back of the mind, like, damn, you know, I kind of want a babe, but I kind of don't want a babe because, like, I'm not really ready for a babe. I'm trying to, like figure out my life, but it would be nice to have a little something, something. But then again, like, do I just want these, I just heard loose connections. It's almost like you guys are past the phase of just wanting these little like, wham, bam, thank you, man, type of connections. You guys want something deeper. Cancer energy coming through here, okay? We also have, it is important right now to take a step back and spend some time alone. Instead of placing your focus on another, now is the time to give to yourself. We just talked about that. I, I feel like, so this was the message for Power One. I'm surprised that this didn't come out for Power One, but the way it's coming out for y'all, that's what it is. But it's almost like, it's not as, cause Power One, they were like pushing them like, why the fuck is you even asking about love? You're not even ready for love. Like that's how it was coming out. But like this one is more like, before you get into that energy of being super pessimistic and like getting hasty or impatient, go back. Back to where you were, really focusing on yourself. It's almost like there's a there's a law of attraction type of thing coming in right now. There's a lot of like being alone. You don't gotta be alone, but you get what I'm saying? Working on yourself, focusing on yourself, and it's just gonna like fall into your lap. Like it's like inevitable for true healthy love. It's like it's gonna fall in your lap just because you've been focusing on yourself so much. Like I'm sorry that this is so sporadic and so like, you know what I mean? But that's just how it's coming out. Like very, we also have healing. Imagine yourself and your beloved surrounded by light. Feel your relationship being healed this very moment. So you guys can have someone in particular in mind and that might be for you. But you know what else I'm hearing? Honey, y'all can literally manifest your partner. And I think you guys know that because you've probably done it before. Um, but what I'm hearing from Spirit is that just gave me like be clear on what it is that you want. Like really start to think about what it is that you want. Especially when I saw that like build a person. It's like really ask yourself what it is that you want. If y'all wrote that down, scripted it, maybe even talk to your ancestors, put it out into the universe, told God, I'm telling you. It's like that's what they're going to bring to you. So like believe in that. Some of you guys are like, no, I'm not that powerful, but you are. You got to do it. It's like be clear about what you want. Some of you guys might not, like y'all might want love, but it's like do you even really know what you want? Like if someone wants to ask you like what do you want in a man or what do you want in a woman? It's like are you like, oh yeah, this is what I want. I got my list. I got my big scroll. Or are you like, oh, well... You said, what do I want in a, hmm, I mean, I, I, I think I, uh, uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, which one are you? Like, where are you at? But all I'm going to say is, this is an energy of like, don't worry. I don't think you guys have to worry. I mean, I don't think anyone has to worry. I feel like everybody's going to be good, but like, y'all really don't have to worry. There's just a real big energy. It's like your healing process and you really healing yourself and that self-realization. I just heard self-actualization. I don't know why that came through, but that self-realization and just really being honest with yourself and healing those past wounds and like learning from mistakes, holding yourself accountable. That's what's going to bring you that that partner you've been waiting for. Like it's coming through heavily. I know we don't want to hear that shit, but like 
it's the truth, honey. Like, trust me, P is on this journey where I'm like, I don't want to talk to nobody right now. I'm like, people get so mad too, but I'm just like, this is like one of the first times in life. Well, not the first time. This has happened before, but I'm just really, you ever just been so focused on yourself? Honey, like I'm so focused on myself, it's not even funny. Like I'm just like, now watch me pop out with a boyfriend like tomorrow, but no, seriously, like I'm just like, give peace some room to breathe. Like, I just wanna be with me, I wanna date me, I wanna be around me, and I wanna get to know me, honey, because I know, I already know I'm gonna be blessed, but like right now I've just been looking, I don't, I don't even wanna, ugh, I'm working on myself. I'm healing from some things, but you know what I'm saying? That's like the energy. And like I'm telling you, that's when it's just gonna fall in your lap. Look at this, we have a man holding a heart. So someone's coming in, but let's see, what's next in love for my pile two? Don't judge yourself too harshly. I don't know if you guys are holding on to something that a partner said to you in the past, please let it go. Do not take that into your next relationships. I don't feel like y'all have an issue of like really like, it's like a self-sabotage with the with new relationships, but it's almost like the self-sabotage. Like for Pile One, a lot of their self-sabotage was coming from family issues, maybe what they've seen growing up. Y'all's is coming up or coming from like what past partners have said to you. It's like coming from the partners. So I don't know if they told you you was never gonna really like be with nobody worthwhile or if like they, it's like a lot of verbal abuse coming through. I don't know what that's about, but you know, I don't wanna just say it like this, but let it go. I don't want to say it like that though. You know, I know it's not easy, but that's just how it's coming out. Stick with me. So we have the sixth chakra, Archangel Metatron. Honey. <laughs> Do you, <laughs> let me know down below. I'm sorry. Do you guys have a tendency? That's the only thing. I just talked about this in one of my videos. Girl, this bun is getting a little heavy. Um, but I just talked about this in one of my videos, uh, like how dating, like, Sometimes you gotta ask yourself, am I ever gonna date somebody like with these psychic abilities? Because I be knowing everything. You gotta come correct if you're gonna come to pee. It's almost like that's the vibe I'm getting. There's a lot of energy here and here, okay? So like, all I'm gonna say is use your intuition when um, connecting with your partners. There's a lot of like being guided by your intuition, okay? Being guided by spirit. Um, you're not just gonna be looking at people, oh my gosh, this is kind of beautiful. It is beautiful. I feel like there's not a lot of like, now I'm not gonna say like the the physicalities, if that's a word, or like the physical nature of someone isn't important to you, but I just feel like y'all have just been through a lot where it's like, it's not just about that. You guys are really not even just looking at people. You are looking at their souls, okay? You're like using this and you're just like seeing through people. And I don't know, I'm just hearing 212 is your number. Look that up. There's just a lot coming down of like, use your intuition. Your intuition is gonna guide you. Y'all might have in the past like not paid attention to your dreams, your intuition, like your first mind about people. I'm hearing from Spirit, don't do that no more because you guys are very powerful in this area and there's a need to use that to your advantage when it comes to dating. I don't know how that resonates, but that's how it's coming down and that's how I'm gonna spit it out to you. What's also coming through is something about manifestation because I'm picking up on someone who's very powerful spiritually. You guys can literally manifest anything that you want, but think twice before you start manifesting because it's almost like whatever you say and speak out, it's going to come to you. So just really ask yourself, is that what I want? So get clear on what it is that you want in love and then love will come to you. Now, if some of you guys aren't ready for that, that's okay. You're just like, you know what? You know, I'm I'm not ready yet. Then that's fine. But just know that you have that ability. You feel what I'm saying? But this man holding a heart, let me see. What's next for my pile two? In love. The temple path. Yeah. It's a lot of you, a lot of finding spirit. When I look at this, this is like happy home, sacred place. But when I think of the temple, I'm also getting like the temple. You know what I'm saying? I don't know why that just came to me, but there's a lot of like, it's so me. It's so, not me, but like, it's so like you, me. You know what I'm trying to say? Like, it's so you, focusing on you. You're focused on the me. Y'all get what I'm trying to say? Y'all know what I'm trying to say. But anyway, it's just a lot of like, yeah, I don't know how else to say it. It's a lot of focusing on myself. So I feel like you guys are nearing the end of a phase of like, I mean, you guys are constantly healing yourself, right? But it's almost like for some of you guys, you feel more comfortable getting to know you right now. And that's totally fine. But I'm telling you guys, that self-love and that all that emphasis on yourself is really bringing somebody in. So get ready, honey. So let's see what's next in love. I see you guys finding a home. Exactly. Community. And then we had that temple path. That's giving me a real big energy. Hold up, you guys. I'm about to hiccup. That was coming in hot. But anyway, with this community and this um, 
the temple path. You know what's so funny? Some of you guys might be moving house. I'm picking up on like moving. It's almost like the person that's coming in, they might not be in your area. So it's almost like you got to move in order to get around this community that actually resonates with you. What I see coming in, I see y'all meeting people. It's not just love. It's also friendships, people that resonate with you. I'm also picking up on three different people, obviously, with the cards here. Three different options. Build a partners. I know that sounds so funny how I'm describing it, but that's literally how it's coming through. Stick with me. Um... Apples or the color red is really coming through here. A lot of lust, a lot of passion. Some of you guys, I'm not going to lie. There's two connections, right? Out of three of those connections, two of them are going to be what you see long term. That's what I'm seeing here. New, fresh, exciting, but there's that one. It's not a bad thing, but it's very lustful. So I see you guys having a real lusty connection with like one good person right now. But these other two, I feel like these are going to be the opening doors of something new but I see some there's a lot of lusty coming in like a lot of lustiness this person could be born on the 7th or the 12th someone could be a January February, is that a Taurus January February March April May June July that's not a Taurus honey what are we doing um I don't know why I heard Taurus I'm hearing Taurus Gemini or Cancer but really Taurus I don't know why I heard Taurus there's a home here I'm not gonna lie you guys if you guys are ear Aaron, nearing that phase someone's name could be Aaron here if you guys are nearing that phase where you're like okay like I've been really working on myself I'm ready to put myself back out in love I'm not gonna lie so you guys kind of exploring options only if you're ready though and it's like that's what's gonna lead you to your partner I don't know how this is coming through but it's like I see three people two are gonna be the ones that you look at long term one is gonna be that lusty connection that might still kind of like it's, it's lusty it's lusty honey but it's like and I still don't want this. I'm going to go over here. I don't know what that's about, but let's see. Bottom of the deck. Blossoming abundance. And we also have first chakra, Archangel Michael, the root chakra. Yeah, I got to be honest. I see a real big journey around self, career, abundance, and all things. And it's like, that's what's going to lead you to love. It's like a very, it's not an unconventional way, but it's like, there's a lot of discipline in this pile. That's what I'm picking up on. What's next in love for my pile? Two. Oh, shit. Sure. Someone could be a Leo here. We have what do you need to release? Waning moon. This is giving me like shedding that old skin so that you could be new and reborn. So that you can invite in all them builder partners. Or that one builder partner. But like seriously you guys. I just see a lot of like renewing yourself. Being focused on yourself. This is really good. A lot of people don't get in that energy where they're really wanting to focus on themselves. Because there's so much emphasis on everything else and everybody else. But like this is powerful. Like there's a lot of discipline here. We have confidence is your key to success. What's next for you in love is there's going to be a lot of confidence, a lot of like solar plexus energy, I am energy. Whatever someone said to you, I keep picking up on what someone said to you that kind of like fucked with you. I don't know. It's like an insecurity coming from a partner that she used to deal with. That's being released. It's like you guys are going to be really feeling good about yourself. Some of you guys are working out. You're just really feeling good. And it's like that energy is going to have you be unstoppable. There's just a real big emphasis of me. You get what I'm saying? Like me... Working out, getting my health together, sleep schedule looking good, drinking my water, scare, scare clean. skin is clear, honey, and everything's just golden. Living my life like it's golden. That's what's coming through. I don't know. Do y'all even want love? Shit, like, I mean, I don't know. Now I'm starting to question if y'all really even want it. So let's see. The golden tarot. Before we close this out, I just feel like, I don't know, whoever I'm picking up on with the hermit at the bottom of the deck. There's an isolation. I don't know. Like, it's like a real big ace of swords. Clarity on what you need to do next. Clarity on how you need to connect with yourself and really find yourself and be clear with yourself and honest with yourself before you get with another partner. Five of Wands. I see competition. I see y'all having options, though. But I just don't, I don't know. It's like there's options, but are y'all really even focused on love? Like, I don't know. Let's see. Pile two. What's next in love for pile two? I really hope my lips is not... Oh, tripping. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> how to. Living my life like it's golden. That's what I'm saying. I'm getting real big auntie vibes. Like, living my life like it's golden. Not giving a fuck <laughs> about none of these um, men or women. Not to say it like that. I don't mean to say it like that. But there's just, like I said, an emphasis on me. Seven of wands, two of wands. I feel like you guys are still in a period of not even just trying to find yourself but really trying to ask yourself what is it that i want you guys are setting clear boundaries learning how to set even clearer boundaries you're being decisive you're opening up your mind you're in a real big expansive mindset or you're going to be coming into an expansive mindset when it comes to love and that is 
fabulous. That's what's going to bring you the things that people wish they could have in love. I'm telling you. Not that we're trying to act like we're better than others, you know what I'm saying? It's just like a real big energy of like, do y'all know how hard it is for people to really sit and be like, you know what, I just really want to focus on myself? People always say it, but they don't never really do it. I feel like you guys are really doing it. So let's see. Proud of you. Power two. What's next in love for power two? What's next in love for power two? Oh, shops. Let's see. <laughs> the king of wands. That lusty, there's a lusty fire sign coming in. But let's see the wheel of fortune. But not just that, I feel like that's y'all energy. Body's looking right. Dun, dun, dun. It's tight, honey, for those that that resonates with, okay? Money long, long, okay? It's a lot coming through. Like, I just feel like there's a real big emphasis. I don't know why spirit is emphasizing you guys feeling good about yourself and feeling confident, a lot of sensual energy. I don't know why that's big for you guys. It's something like... It's like that leads a lot of life for you. And what I mean by that, because I know that sounds confusing, but it's like for you guys, it's like your confidence, when you're confident and feel good, you can attract whatever you want in a partner, in a job, in a whatever, honey. You can literally manifest so easily. So this is deeper than just love. It's like you guys are going to really be like feeling yourself. I don't know how else to say it. Like what's next in love? There's a lot of like end of delays with this wheel of fortune. A change of events. I'm, I don't know why this is coming through, but whoever did you wrong that like is coming to your head right now, exes. It's like there's a lot of people. I can keep getting someone wanting to kiss your feet. Oh my gosh, like my foot is up right now. I'm just like, oh. It's like people having to kiss your feet or like come back to you and apologize for what they did. I'm seeing a lot of people. I don't know why I'm hearing mark my words, but it's almost like an energy of like, is it bite their words? I can't think of the phrase right now. But it's like a lot of people have to. It's like a lot of recanting. But a lot of people being regretful for what they did to you. So y'all are coming out on top. I just see a real big elevation of you. You guys being successful. I see six of wands energy. But it's like a real big emphasis on your lower chakras. And that is what's going to like. That's more important than anything right now. It's like spirit really wants you to just be confident. And I see that for you with this wheel of fortune. It's like the end of delays. A new fresh start. It's like. I can't even put this into the words. It's just like. It's going to be a huge shift in everything. The tables are turning. I don't know how that resonates for you, but it's like underdog is now on top. Like, what's next in love for my power two? Oh, shucks. The emperor. Aries energy. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Some of you guys could be having your divine masculine come through or divine feminine, but I'm picking up on a divine masculine or an Aries. We have the ace of coins, ace of pentacles. Leo energy coming through here. Okay, I'm not going to lie. For some of you guys, this is marriage. For those that that resonates with, I see someone wanting to offer you a home, a commitment, an apology, and then moving into a home. There's like a real big offer coming from someone who, it's like whoever this is though, y'all both got masculine energy. I don't know what this is about, but there's a lot of like, I don't know. Some of you guys are like bringing, you, you guys are the table. It's like you guys are bringing it. And you're making shit happen for yourself. I see a lot of that. But because of that, I also see someone being like, you know what? I love that this person could do it on their own, but I want to add to this. So I see somebody coming in and wanting to offer you something. There's a new start here. I see you guys moving. I don't know why I keep picking up on y'all moving. Who's coming towards my pile two in love? A Virgo? Or a water sign? Wow, whoever this is, this person could be a spiritual teacher, this person could be a teacher of some sort, or this person just has a high position. Um, but I see somebody, and that could even be you guys. I see somebody coming towards you, they're a little bit shy, could have a little bit of some anxiety. Or this is just the energy that you guys are coming out of, and it's like they notice that there's somebody here. Oh, wow. Wow, honey. Oh my god, I just got something, yeah. Okay, ooh. Oh my gosh. Oh, a fly just went in my ear. Or maybe that wasn't a fly. What was that? My bad, y'all. I don't know what that was about, but I like freaked out a little bit. That could also be this person. This person could be a little bit paranoid, but I keep hearing, obviously, bug in the ear. Cause that's like, I thought there was a bug in my ear. I literally heard some go, but there was nothing right there. But um, what I was thinking about, Three different people, right? 
one of these people is somebody that might have not looked at you like this. They didn't see you in a romantic light back in the day. They might have even denied you. Not gonna lie, it's giving. I'm telling you, that table is turning. It's like whoever this was, they might have looked at you and kind of counted you out. And it's almost giving me that, that vibe of like you had a crush. They didn't really see it with you. Whoever that is, I see them coming in and y'all kind of been feeling that for whoever that resonates with. It's like somebody's starting to see you in a new light, especially if they're a Virgo. I'm also seeing somebody that feels like they missed an opportunity. Um, I'm also feeling like someone that missed an opportunity with you. Sorry, girl. I'm like all up in these cards. Um, They're coming in. And whoever that is, that's also a message. I take all these things that happened to me during my reading, I take them as like, that's what it is. Like, that's the energy of that person. Whoever this is, they're coming up as the Eight of Swords. So I feel like whatever they did to you, there's something in my ear. I don't know what that is, but like, what is going on? Whatever they did to you, they don't feel good about something that they did to you. So now they want to come in, confess their love. Remember I told you I kept seeing someone kissing your feet? I don't know what that's about, but there's someone that's been up in their head about if they should come back to you or not. They don't know if you'll take them back. And I feel like it's a water sign. So we have a water sign here, Scorpio energy. There could be a Gemini that wants to retry it with you. I see a Virgo coming through. Let's see who else is coming towards my pile too. I see options. The full card in reverse. There could be, a, I'm telling you, if y'all did resonate with pile one and that person that I talked about in pile one, if you read, you'll know if they were a fire sign, it's like, there's a lot of people coming out of hiding. I don't know why everybody was sleeping on you, but they're not sleeping on you no more. I don't know what that's about. So I'm seeing Pisces, Aries, Scorpio, Gemini. It's like, whoever these people are though, I don't know why they're so intimidated by you. I'm telling you, it's that, it's that, that power, that King of Wands energy. It's that. It's that me, me. Like, it's like you guys are coming up as the dominant. And for whatever reason, it's like enticing, but it is freaking, not freaking people out. But it has people wondering like, how do I come up to this person? Pisces energy. A lot of people are looking at you from like a new perspective, a new light. And I feel like it's because you guys have been working on yourself. So last message is from my pile too. This is wonderful. Advice. I feel like keep working on yourself. I mean, that's the advice. But let's see. Mm-hmm. The King of Cups. <laughs> and we also have the Three of Coins in reverse. We're not thinking the Three of Coins upright. That's collaboration with others, right? But with this Three of Coins being in reverse, I feel like that's a collaboration with yourself. Mind, body, soul, Knight of Cups. That's where you need to give your love to. It's like when you give love to yourself and really focus on yourself, that's how all of this extra stuff is going to manifest. So yes, pile two, that was just real. Please let me know how it resonates. We're going to move on to pile three. All right, pile three in the hizzy, hizzy. Okay. Pile three. Let's see what's going on. I don't know. Some of you guys are coming up as someone young to me. Like, you know, I'm young. Like, who am I to be saying somebody's young, you know? But like, I don't know. It's coming up as a young energy. So maybe there's someone young, young tenderoni coming towards you. Or there's something new here. I keep getting a lot of page energy. I don't know why it's coming through though. Cause I feel like a lot of you guys are probably older. <laughs> um, but let's see. I'm here and keep it as is. So we just gonna take whatever comes out. <sighs> What's going on with my pile three? Oh, that's what I wanted to say. I see somebody here starting school. If that resonates for you and you're about to start school somewhere else, it's like there's something new here, but it's like a new study, a new project. Okay, I'm gonna say it. That's, I don't know, it's almost like, I'm not gonna say this is for everybody, but there's like a partner that you guys are gonna come across at school, at this institution, or at like, some of you guys, it's like in a therapy group, or like some of you guys at, yeah, I'm here in school. It's like a project that you're doing or something that you're going to. I keep seeing someone go to college and they meet somebody or like, I don't know, it's something like, <laughs> it's something like that, but let me see. Power three, a lot of transformation. Some of you guys could be coming out of a breakup. And you might be in the process of being like, you know what? I'm transforming myself. I want to be away from them. I'm trying to get myself out of that energy. Some of you guys might still be tied to that person energetically. But I'm getting more of like flingy connections for somebody. But it doesn't have to be. Let's see what comes out. All right. For pile three, I almost called y'all pile four for whatever reason. So maybe you have four different options coming towards you. Pile three. Okay. Someone here could be like 
in their 60s. I'm just saying. Like, that just came through. I'm looking over here and that just came through. I know I just said someone's young, but like, y'all gotta either be super young, not super young, because you shouldn't be here if you're super young, but like, or you're like mature, because I also saw the Hierophant card. I don't know, girl, but let me see. Past energy for pile three. Yeah, the energy right now is almost like distance. Some of you guys can be very distant in love, or there's like a distance from love and that might be why i'm picking up on flingy connections because there's like a lot of not wanting to get deep if that's not you this might not be your pile i don't know why that's coming through um hmm. some of you guys just don't want nothing heavy i don't know let's see power power three a lot of going back and forth past energy for love past energy for love we got the nine of wands in reverse and the Empress in reverse. Okay. Did I call y'all pile one? I didn't mean to say that. Y'all might actually resonate with pile one. And I think that's why that happened. Um, but this is definitely for y'all. Okay, so this nine of wands, right? This reading is going to be very specific. I mean, this whole reading. It's like, you're either these piles or this reading is not for you. These very specific messages. Y'all didn't learn some tough lessons or you're going through one, right? With that ten of wands, that's a lot of responsibility. Some of you guys could be mothers. Taurus energy coming through here, nine of wands, Sagittarius energy, ten of wands, more Sagittarius energy. A lot of mutable, a lot of changes, a lot of flexibility. Part of me feels like you guys kind of feel like outcasted when it comes to love. There's like a want, but then there's not a want. So like, I don't know, you guys could also just be different. Maybe you guys don't want a monogamous relationship. Maybe you guys are in polygamy. I don't know. But let me just go into this first. I see a lot of cruelty in love. I don't know if this is y'all putting it out or if this is what people have done to you. But I also see you guys not letting go of... This could be the relationship that you had with a Taurus. The relationship that you had with a mother figure. A feminine. Someone from the past. This could also be someone, if that doesn't resonate, that didn't... It's almost like they took away from your femininity. Or they like really fucked with your self-esteem. I don't know what happened. There's like a connection that's coming through here that I feel like you guys kept fighting for and didn't want to give up on. But this was literally depleting your energy. For some of you guys, it could have pushed you into this moment of like going into like a dark night of the soul. Really trying to find yourself. And that's the beautiful part of this because it is a little bit of a darker energy here. I don't know. There's like a outcast type of energy. But I don't know if it's just because of one person. I'm not going to lie. I feel like... Y'all have learned hard lessons with a specific person, but also, like, it's something about community. I don't know if this is family, so you guys might definitely want to watch Pile 1, but there's a lot of, I just heard restrictions. I don't know what that's about. So maybe you feel restricted in love, bound to certain circumstances, um, and some of you guys just don't feel confident enough to really... It's like, what are you guys dealing with right now? I don't know. Like, for some of you guys, it's like... I'm picking up on an energy of only wanting flingy connections. You know, do what you want to do. This might not be for everybody, but it's almost like you don't want to get too close. I keep having to look over my shoulder. And I feel like that's what this is giving too. With like over her shoulder, it's like that. What is it? It's a dark past. I don't know what's going on back there. You ain't got to tell me. But there's just this energy of like, I just want to tell y'all. Because I'm trying to see how to say it. You deserve good things too. It's almost like you don't want to get too deep with anybody. I don't know what you guys don't want nobody to find out about you. I don't know if you don't feel good enough. That's I'm just saying that. It's coming out as not feeling good enough. And kind of being put in these toxic connections, codependent connections, holding on to people that don't serve us. Even when we really don't want to hold on, we just kind of want somebody there. There's a real toxic dynamic between, from what I'm picking up on, you and other connections. If you guys are being isolated from people right now, this is a whole separate message from what I was picking up in the beginning. If you guys are being isolated from people right now, also this was past energy. Um, that might be for a reason. There was somebody here that Spirit was trying to get you away from for a lot of you guys, especially since this is coming up as past energy. I feel like you guys are away from this person. Um, if you're not, it's like there's, there's a break free from something, a certain bounding toxic type of dynamic whether that's with somebody or whether that's with community that might be why some of you guys are going off to college you want to start new you want to explore it you felt very bound and suffocated by something i don't know what that's about honey because look at these cards like i'm not lying like with this cruelty card and it's so funny because this is the nine of swords but it was coming up as the nine of wands 
Some of you guys self-sabotage. This is the thing. Really work on you. Okay, like there's a real big emphasis to work on you. Some of you guys just aren't focused on love right now because I don't know if a connection just didn't make you feel good about yourself. It's giving me a real, I don't want to say an insecure vibe, but there's a lot of like looking back, like how I'm doing. I don't know what happened in the past. I don't know who this person was. It could have been an Aries. It's like a real toxic, and I, I'm not talking about my Aries because I love my Aries. I got Aries in my, you know, it's all up in my thing. But like what I'm saying is there's like a toxic masculine coming through here, maybe even a toxic feminine. And something really just took you off center. It could have been a connection with someone that you had kids with. And I know I'm repeating myself, and that's the energy. There might have been a connection here that you kept going back and forth in, a cycle. There could even be a cycle with yourself. There could be a toxic connection with, between you and a parent, and that kind of scares you when you talk about or think about intimacy with others. I don't know. It's cloudy. It's real cloudy. I don't know. That's probably why I was picking up on that younger energy because it's kind of reminded me of like how I felt when I really didn't know anything about nothing. You know what I'm saying? I don't mean that in a certain way, but like back when I was like 15, still trying to, well, maybe not 15, cause I still was in that like dreamy phase. But y'all know how they say people in their twenties, I'm acting like I'm not in my twenties, but y'all know what I'm saying? It's like a real, it's kind of a lost energy or there's an energy of feeling lost because there was a lot of burdens and stuff. And at this point you're just trying to find yourself, but it's not in the energy of like, it's not giving me a pile one vibe or a pile two vibe. It's like, we keep getting this different energy of self. This is like, this is almost giving me like dark night of the soul or like a real like, I keep getting black. I don't know what that's about. Maybe it's just transformative. Let's see. Every time I look at this card, I hate looking at the Empress card with a little black thing in the back. <laughs> I don't know why I always look like something's like about to pop out. I am legend. That's what I just thought about. But let's see. What's next in love for pile three? Ooh, I just seen the judgment card and the moon card. We got the Mother of Fire in reverse of the Mother of Wands, Queen of Wands, I mean. The Three of Cups, the Hangman. Okay, so this is what I see for you guys. Whether that stuff in the beginning resonated or not, what Spirit wants you to know is what's next in love for you is you guys are going to be able, it's like real, there's this real big emphasis like Spirit wants you to be able to experience different connections so you can actually start to believe that there's hope and love. There's a lot of spirit wanting to, God, spirit, whatever you resonate with, wanting to come in and really like show you like, look, there are good people in this world. And look at my battery about to die. Um, sorry, I had to stop the camera. My eyes are starting to like glare from this freaking or fuzz up because of my ring light. But there's just a real big energy. It's very straightforward of spirit wanting you to Really focus on self. I know I'm saying that for everybody, but it's like, for real, it's like, start to really recognize your beauty, your handsomeness, whatever it is, your inner beauty, like really connecting with yourself on a cellular level. And then it's almost like you guys are gonna be put in different connections. That might've been why I was picking up on these flighty or like flingy type of connections because it might not just be friends or it might not just be lovers. I'm picking up on friends and lovers. It's like, you guys are gonna be put in situations where you can meet people, Maybe do a little bit of flirtation so you guys can start to, it's like get your feet wet. I don't know what, why that's coming up. Maybe you guys are coming out of a very dark period. It's like spirit is trying to like have you tiptoe in love so you can kind of see like, okay, there's new stuff out here. And I'm stuttering like a motherfucker so someone could really have a hard time with their voice. I don't know. Maybe you were in an abusive connection. I'm not really sure. But there was something that was very stifling here. And it's almost like spirit wants you to, like with this three of cups, really resonate with people and get to meet people that resonate with you. It's like a, it's a transformation of, look, I want to show you this. I want you to meet this person. I want you to meet these people. Get around people that you actually feel comfortable with. Um, feel like yourself. Be authentic. Have friends. I want you to recognize that there is still love out in this world. It's almost like it's coming out like that. I don't know why. Maybe you guys kind of lost hope in love, but there's a real big energy of like spirit wants you to sh like spirit wants to show you like look what well, look what's out there, <laughs> girl. Mm -mm, we gotta clear out the energy. Hold on, we gotta clear out the energy because I don't know why I'm stuttering and I keep kind of looking back. Yeah, I just feel like you guys aren't hopeful. What is this monkey on y'all back? What are y'all holding on to? It's something from the past, and we're clearing it the fuck out of here because it ain't got it ain't got no business being up in peace, peace. But there is like a darker energy. I don't know what this is. This could even just be fear. Clear it out, God, clear it out. But yeah, like I just feel like what's next for you in love and just period is God is gonna show you 
that there are other people who get that back energy that there are other people in this world that can actually like there's love in this world there's a real big energy of like i want to show you that there is still love in this world i don't want you to lose and close your heart i don't know what happened and that's literally what it is especially with this hangman being in reverse it's like spirit wants you to look at love in a different light so in order to do that you're going to be put in different situations so you can kind of have a different perspective honey you see i had to clear myself out and now all of a sudden we're talking clear yeah i don't know what's going on on there you guys have a lot of fear around you a lot of i don't know what's going on but let's see what's next in love for my pile of three we have goddess of the moon okay tapping into your femininity i don't know if someone made you feel like not good enough or there's like a weird relationship with the feminine i don't know it's like you guys are gonna really start tapping into your beauty i feel like i'm talking to a feminine you're gonna really start tapping into your beauty really start feeling confidence in yourself or confident in yourself tapping into that inner goddess confidence is popping honey there's a lot of like i want to show you with that moon being here i want to show you that those illusions that you think about love thinking that you don't deserve love and that love is never going to come to you i want to show you that that's wrong that's kind of what's coming through and that's the message, honey. So I don't know. We're not going to go too deep into this one because, like, it's a weird energy coming through. But um, that is your spread. Please let me know how it resonates. Let me clear you up. Because what's going on? Okay? <laughs> that was your spread. Please let me know how it resonates. And I'll see you guys in the comments.